NerdRotic.com. Welcome back to NerdRotic. My name is Gary Beekler, and I come to you from NerdRotic.com, and we need to unfortunately talk about poor Stan Lee. Stan Lee is finally getting some justice. It looks like some asshole who had been abusing him has finally been arrested, but let's talk real quick about the last couple of years of his life after he lost Joan, which was his reason to live, and it looked like he was just doing time, just kind of living out the last days of his life trying to find whatever enjoyment he could while the sharks were infesting the waters around him, taking little pieces out of him, Uh, maybe even family members. I don't know about that, but I definitely know that Kia Morgan was a scumbag and Kia Morgan was his manager. And apparently Kia Morgan was stealing from him, abusing him, possibly kept him prisoner. This guy was a real scumbag. So there are the Nick Ricadas out there who can tell you what's going to happen now that he's been arrested and going to court. And then there's people like me who can tell you what's going to happen after those jail doors get locked behind him and possibly prison doors. But first, let's get to the article. This from the great KTLA Channel 5 when I lived in Southern California. This is the reason I'm a nerd. I watch Star Trek and Twilight Zone on this channel. Stan Lee's former manager arrested on suspicion of elder abuse and theft. Late Marvel Comics mastermind Stan Lee's former manager was arrested Saturday on suspicion of theft and elder abuse, the Los Angeles Police Department said. Kia Morgan, a.k.a. Kirashi Mazari, 43, was taken into custody in Arizona on an outstanding arrest warrant after an investigation determined that the manager pocketed more than $262,000 from Lee's autograph signing sessions, authorities said. Oh, I believe it's much more than that. And what was he doing in Arizona? It had been reported over a week ago that the arrest warrant went out. How come it took him so long? Did he turn himself in or did he get caught? We'll find out. The manager has been previously arrested in June of last year on suspicion of generating false 911 calls after reports surfaced that Morgan falsely imprisoned 95-year-old Lee in a secured Beverly Hills condominium after taking him out of his Hollywood home in the middle of the night, police said. Authorities say Morgan was trying to deceive Lee into thinking he was in danger and that he needed to be moved to a secure location. Lee was removed from Morgan's control two days after the incident. Mr. Lee had a large estate worth over an estimated $50 million with no clear protection from opportunists who could insert themselves into his life and take control of it, LAPD said in a written statement. By the way, I will also tell you why Disney is culpable in this. Police said that no one had clear legal authority, but Morgan exerted his control and influence over Lee. The comic book legend's daughter requested a restraining order last year alleging that Morgan was manipulating the mentally declining Lee, the Associated Press reported. The investigation started in March 2018, months before Lee's death in November, and the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office later issued a warrant for Morgan's arrest. Morgan is facing charges including a felony count of false imprisonment, kidnapping, three counts of grand theft from an elder or dependent adult, a felony count of aggravated white-collar crime over $100,000, and one misdemeanor count of elder abuse, LAPD said. How is that a misdemeanor? It is unclear where Morgan was taken into custody, but LAPD said the Scottsdale and Phoenix Police Department's assisted with the arrest. No further details were available. Well, let's get to Disney first. For those of you new to the channel, I am a former comic book shop retailer. I sold comic books here in San Francisco for 10 years, and I'm a lifelong comic book fan. And one of the biggest problems in this industry is the people who created characters that generated billions of dollars for these corporations die lonely, die hungry, die homeless, die of cancer with giant hospice fees that their family has to pay off while their characters that they created are generating billions of dollars for people like Bob Iger. We have actors like Brie Larson, Mark Ruffalo, Chris Evans using these characters as their own 
personal political platforms, you would think with all the virtue signaling, Hollywood may have discovered some newfound empathy towards their fellow man, but of course not. Look at Brie Larson on the day of Stan Lee's death, showing off some sunglasses and a very nice bag. And this is how Kia Morgan can get their claws in the Stan Lee. And finally, we have some justice because they caught this scumbag. And I've got some really good news for you. But first, I have some unsolicited advice for the L.A. County's District Attorney's Office. I've had my fair share of experience with district attorneys, none of it being positive, but... I would consider him a flight risk, considering when you issued the warrant, he was in Arizona. I'm guessing he was running, or hiding, or just trying to make himself not really easy to be found, which is running. I would call that a flight risk, so no bail. I would definitely try no bail. Now, what Kia Morgan has to look forward to in the L.A. County Jail, quite possibly worse than any California prison, this side of Corcoran or Pelican Bay. In my very misguided youth, a couple of decades ago, I lived a very Breaking Bad lifestyle, and that's why I never finished watching the show, because I lived it. I don't need to watch it. That lifestyle got me in a lot of trouble, so unfortunately, I have a lot of experience in the places that Kia Morgan is hopefully going to be sent to. Now, this guy's a snake. He'll probably slither out of this, considering that's what he does for a living, but let's hope not. County jails are filled with drug offenders, alcohol offenders. They are usually overcrowded, so he won't have his own cell. So he's going to have a nice dorm of friends to hang out with and never get any sleep. You're in constant fear. You sleep with one eye open. You always have to watch your back. And Kia Morgan is probably a target. He is a celebrity. Stan Lee is popular in a lot of places, including county jails and prisons. My guess is he'll end up in protective custody someplace I've never been because it's filled with snitches and far worse but maybe that's where he belongs and as far as prison is concerned kia people like you just don't last long there so my suggestion kia cop a plea do whatever you have to do not to go there now i haven't been there in a very long time but chances are things haven't changed much in there and it is a very dangerous place again sleepless nights there will be a giant beacon that will be a target on your back somebody would love to make a name for themselves getting at you so again you'll probably end up spending most of your time in pc and pc in prison is no joke that is not a place you want to be i've never experienced it but i've heard the stories and some of them are quite horrific. You'll also wear a specially colored jumpsuit that will label you as a prisoner of protective custody, giving you a death sentence if you ever went into the general population, if you ever went out on the yard. So that is what you have to look forward to. What else do you have to look forward to? Well, lots of boredom mixed in with the occasional moment of terror. Read a lot of books, think about your life, mind your own business, Keep your head down, no drugs, no gambling, don't get involved in making pruno or any of that jailhouse crap, and definitely under any circumstances do not ever, ever snitch. And if you do make it out, make sure you have plenty of money for the therapy bills, for the PTSD, and try to redeem yourself. It is unfortunate that Stan Lee was not alive to see this justice served, but it was more unfortunate that Stan Lee had to endure this abuse. And the fact that it's only a misdemeanor as far as the elderly abuse is concerned is a fracking joke. And another thing that's a fracking joke is Disney feeling emboldened enough to tell us how to think and vote through their films, yet they let the people who helped them make billions of dollars wither away and die lonely, unprotected, and abused. Shame on you, Disney. Now, if you would like to help comic creators in need, there is an organization known as the Heroes Initiative. Please search them out. I will leave a link right here in the description and you can donate there and that will go to help some of the people who have brought you so many things that you love. Please like, share, and subscribe. Everybody have a great day. I miss you, Stan, and may the free folk sing songs of your greatness. Nerdorotic.com, please subscribe.